What's up, YouTube? Wanted to do another video, um, basically for uh, like first-time gun buyers or people who are not real versed in, uh, you know, handling a gun and maybe intimidated to go into a gun shop the first time. Um, this applies to like men and women, um, and like I said, especially uh, new gun buyers, someone someone new to the to the firearms community uh, who may be interested in buying a gun, you know, buying their first gun. Uh, maybe your second or third gun, but you just hadn't had any real um, professional training or anything like that, or you're still just intimidated to, to, to go in the gun store. Um, unfortunately, some gun stores have that um, kind of gun shop attitude. Um, I mean, it just it is what it is. Some have them. Um, you know, a lot of them don't, though. But these, what I'll show you here is, is basically you'll keep... Um, them from really getting on you or, or whatever or, or being safe and uh, I think you'll you'll get treated with a little more respect in any gun shop you walk into and a uh, few basic rules I mean I've I'm kind of a, a gun shop groupie on my on my off time um, I pretty much know all the FFLs around here um, you know first name basis or whatever most of them you know know me when I walk in or whatever in fact I got a couple guys a couple buddies um, who own shops here locally. Um, two of them are real good friends of mine. And uh, like it was just a basic relationship built over time. Um, kind of coming in, buying guns or, or accessories or just kind of talking or whatever. Um, in fact, one of, one of them is a real good friend of mine now. We we go hunting together and, and uh, shoot together, go to training together, stuff like that. So um, that was just, you know, obviously a relationship that was built over time. I was just basically started as a customer. But uh, as far as like walking in the first time, I've I've helped him out a lot, and I you know like I said I spend a lot of time in the store, and I help money short, or I'll you know kind of get behind the counter and help customers and whatnot. And uh, you can tell within the first five seconds of showing someone a gun if they know anything about guns or gun safety, and it's not really something you can fake. Um, it's best my best advice is you know be honest. Let you know. Let someone know. Hey, I'm I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm not I'm not real familiar with guns. I'm thinking about buying my first gun or whatever it may be, and I think you'll get a lot more um, you know respect that way. A lot more um, help, and they'll at least know you know where to start as far as your level of ability um, to help you and show you the right way. Because because most of us in the gun community uh, want to show people the safe way of doing things. When you come in and you just want to fake it through it, and I know everything and you know, kind of have this chip on your shoulder when you walk in, you know, that's that's when you're probably going to have a bad experience or whatever on, you know, dealing with somebody or whatever behind the counter. And, and not all the time, but um, basically, you know, you know, my best advice when you walk in, you know, shopping for your gun, you know, whatever, um, is just, you know, let, let, the, let the counter person know, hey, I'm, I'm not real sure at guns. Um, obviously, they can't make a choice for you what gun you think you want or what gun would work the best for you. And you shouldn't let them try to make that decision for you because it's it's like walking into a used car dealership and telling the guy, I don't know a lot about cars, but I need a car. What car should I buy? It's kind of the same analogy. I mean, we've all probably you know driven or own a car or have a car or whatever at this point. And you know you wouldn't let someone else make that decision for you. It's same thing with a gun. It's a, it's a personal decision, um, but they can kind of give you some facts and whatnot. So. Basically, the, the point of my video, though, is it, as you walk in, you look at, you know, guns and, and how it's normally going to go. You're going to see a gun you might be interested in, and you're saying, hey, can I look at that one? And they'll be sure, you know, the, and what will happen is they'll take it out of the counter. You know, more likely they're going to pull the magazine out. This gun doesn't have a magazine in it, but they'll pull the magazine out of the gun. They're going to check the chamber with their finger off the trigger in a safe direction. They're going to check it, make sure it's unloaded, or they'll lock the slide back, whatever, and they're going to hand it to you. And now... When you grab the gun, if the action's closed, they close it up and they hand it to you. This is how you tell if someone knows what they're doing or not. If you grab the gun and you immediately put your finger on the trigger and never check it for yourself, instantly you know that you don't really know anything about gun or at least gun safety. And you're going to do this, oh this is cool, and you're going to snap the trigger or whatever. Um, basically, how, you, how it should happen or how you should proceed with this is they're going to hand you the gun you watch them check that gun but this gun is loaded you're basically going to have to there's four four major safety rules you know which is keep your finger off the trigger till you're ready to shoot 
you know, all guns are loaded, you know, treat all guns as they're loaded, you know, never point uh, the muzzle at anything you're willing to destroy, and then know your target and what's behind it. Obviously, the know your target and what's behind it really doesn't apply in the gun shop there because you're not going to be shooting in the gun shop, hopefully. If you follow the other three rules, you won't be. Um, so basically, you're going to take position of the gun, you're going to keep your finger off the trigger, you're going to keep it pointed in a safe direction. Sometimes they'll tell you, hey, keep this pointed at the back wall, or you know, sometimes they'll give you a, a direction they want you to maintain as the safe direction. So if he hands it to you, he said, keep pointing the back wall, no problem. You take possession of it, you keep your finger off the trigger, and then you check it and make sure there's not a round in it. Even though he checked it 10 seconds before he handed it to you, you have to check it. You know, that's how I know if you know what's going on. You know, it's kind of, um, I never pick up a gun that I don't personally check. I can stand there and I can watch you pull the slide back. And even if I'm at an angle I can see in the chamber, it doesn't matter to me. When I grab the gun, my finger's off the trigger, it's pointing in a safe direction, I check the chamber. Now, I, I have verified for myself that this gun is unloaded. Now, that doesn't mean you can point at it wherever because you still have to follow the other rules. You still have to keep your finger off the trigger. You still have to point the muzzle in a safe direction. So, the worst things we see, or I've seen you know, in gun stores, guys will, you know, Grab it either, either you know, brand new people to guns, or unfortunately the old timers that's always done it that way for a hundred years, you know, and that's just how they are, you know. They, they haven't shot anybody, I guess, in 60 years. They've owned a gun, so you know it's not going to happen, whatever. But they'll, they'll grab the gun from me and they'll, they'll say, oh, that's a nice gun. Yeah, it sure is, you know. And, and they're, hey, buddy, look, you know, and they're with somebody or what? Hey, buddy, look at this gun, and they'll, we'll be waving all around, customers all around, and they're flagging everybody with it, you know, with the muzzle. Never once did they check the chamber, their fingers on the trigger, you know, they're probably dry firing it or doing whatever they're going to do, you know, and they're going, hmm, never check the chamber and they're doing this, and then snap, you know, why it's pointed right at their buddy. You know that guy, either A, has no clue, well, you know he has no clue about gun safety, and he probably doesn't have a clue about any anything else on the gun. So I would say, you know, my, my best advice to uh, um, come into a gun shop and... and you know, look at a gun, you always just follow those directions and you'll get more respect out of the clerk. And if nothing else, you won't get kicked out of the store. You know, because I've seen that too, where, you know, they're just like, hey, they grab the gun, give it back, you know, hey, thanks, you know, thanks for coming in, have a good day, you know, because it's unsafe, you know, and you just don't want anybody that unsafe, even looking at looking at the guns, you know, or whatever, handling their guns. So, like I said, it's, it's, it's not something to be intimidated about. Go in there, I'd say be 100% honest in your experience level because, you know, they've heard it all, you know, I've heard it all standing in there, you know, like, oh, I was a, you know, SEAL Team 19 operator, you know, and, you know, I know everything there is to know about guns, click, 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 you know, as he's pointing at his buddy, you know, and you're going, oh, man, dude, this guy ain't got a clue about nothing, you know, so, like I said, just, you know, you don't have to, they're not impressed by if you come in and say I'm a, you know, SEAL Team Delta Commando and, try to tell, you know, some fake story or, or whatever, you know what I mean? And it's not, you know, picking on, like, veterans or anything like that. Um, because, you know, most guys that's been around guns, you know, know how to safely handle guns. So, like I said, if you got no experience, just let them know. You know, come in. But this will, this will, like I said, go a long ways as far as them helping you out or, you know, giving you the respect that, you know, you're due coming in as far as, hey, I'm, I'm brand new to guns. I'm thinking about buying my first gun. You know, okay, here, let me see this gun. Okay, my finger's off the trigger. Okay, I've checked, you know, check chamber, it's empty. I'm, I'm not pointing at you or this guy or anybody else in the store. You know, hey, that, that gun feels comfortable. Hey, do you mind if I dry fire it? And at that point, you know, most shops will unless, you know, maybe I've seen like high-end like Wilson Combat 1911s or Ed Browns or something like that, real high-end stuff, um, zip-tied to where the action couldn't be moved or, you know, the um, hammer couldn't be pulled back or whatever to, to actuate the action or even the... Um, uh, trigger zip tied down. So some of those guns, they don't want you racking and doing whatever, some of the high dollar stuff. But I, w I always ask, you know, to dry fire in a shop if I want to fill the trigger for whatever reason, um, you know, before I make a purchase or whatever, I always ask, you know, it's going to clear, you know, that's a nice gun, I like it. Hey, do you mind if I dry fire it? And, you know, oh, buddy, go ahead, just keep pointing at the back wall. Okay, you know, bang, oh, it feels pretty good, you know, okay. All right, I appreciate it here. Here you go, thanks. You know, hand it back to them, you know, point it in a safe direction or whatever, over the top, however you want to hand it to them. Don't point it back at them. Here you go, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it's just, 
basic common sense. Unfortunately, it's not so common. It doesn't seem like, and and, and really, it's it's a it's a learned skill. So I shouldn't even say it's common sense. It's it's learned. And if you if you don't know it, you just don't know it. You know. But here's here's your chance to to kind of learn a little bit about it. So you just don't have that embarrassing incident. You know, at the gun store and kind of put everybody on edge. You know, or 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 whatever, or them, you know, or end up getting thrown out of a, of a gun shop or whatever. Um, you can say that's all a bad experience. You just, you just want to go in there, be honest about it. You know, always finger off the trigger. Always check the chamber once you're handed a gun. Like I said, that guy's going to check it. If he know if he's worth his weight in salt, he's going to know. He's going to check it as soon as he pulls out of the cabinet before he hands it to you. He's going to make sure he's handing you an unloaded gun. But you need to make sure he handed you an unloaded gun, you know. Check it and know what you're checking for. Make sure you don't see anything brass colored in there, you know, that's empty, that you can see like a hole that is in the chamber, you know. Make sure. Don't, don't, just, don't just go through the act. Know what you're doing. You know, know that you're pulling it back to look for something brass colored, that you know there's no round in there. I'm good. Okay, now I can point at my safe direction you told me. Hey, do you mind if I dry fire? No, go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So that's just a little tip. You know, I want to give you guys, if you're kind of intimidated for going in your first time, um, same thing applies to long guns. Uh, here in California, you won't have a lot of AR stuff, uh, but I'll cover like a, a shotgun. So usually what they'll do is they'll, you know, they'll pull out the wall. A lot of times they sit open, you know, at a lot of shops they'll sit with the action open. So you can physically see in there, you can see that there's nothing in there, you know, in the barrel. You can see there's nothing in the tube that's getting ready to come in. Um, same thing with that. If they hand it to you open, obviously you can check it, point in a safe direction. You know, yeah, there's nothing in there. You know, you can close the action. You know, a pump shotgun always has a default lock somewhere um, as an action bar release. So if you don't pull the trigger, um, basically it's letting you know, you know, hey, it's thinking you chambered a shell, you know, whatever, and it's not going to go until you pull the trigger or you hit the action bar release. In this particular model, most of them are located somewhere here. This is a Mossberg, but the Remington's in basically the same location. Um, they just push down on that, and then it'll let you open the action um, up to see. So you know you want to check it, pull it. Hey, is it okay if I dry fire it? Yeah, go ahead. So I'll check it one more time. You know. Okay, cool. And like I said, now it'll clear. If he handed it to you with an open action, you know, hand it back with an open action. Let him know. You know that way he can he can see because he's going to verify it again before he puts it on the wall. Like I said, it's. It, it sounds repetitive if you're not around it, but when you're, you know, handing guns out, you know, 50 times, 100 times a day, showing customers or whatever, um, the particular um, <clears throat> FFL has an indoor range. They have rentals, so there's live ammunition that goes in those guns, and they come back. So everything has to be checked because live ammo is in there, where a display gun obviously has a less likely chance of being loaded as a, and opposed to a rental because a rental gets fired and gets brought back. Everything has to be checked and double checked on on all guns, but you know, especially when you're you're dealing with rental guns. <clears throat> so hopefully that helps you out, guys. Like I said, take some of the the fear factor away of coming into a gun shop the first time, or you're not too sure, you know, whatever. Um, just use that information. That'll help you out a lot. It'll get you a long ways in there. Um, like I said, just be honest, you know, about your experience. If you're new, you're new. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and we're all happy to see, you know. Uh, Gun shop employees, you know, FFLs, you know, just shooters are happy to see new shooters. You know, we're, we're all happy to see it. So, you know, most of the time, nobody's going to get down on you, you know, for being new. Just be safe. That's that's all they're really worried about is being safe. They don't care if you've been shooting for never or 20 years. You know, as long as you're safe, you're safe. That's that's the main concern. Be safe, and then they'll, they'll help you from there. So, anyways, guys, I just want to tell you there's no reason to be, um, you know, intimidated walking into the shop. Uh, hopefully you got a good shop in your area. We, we have quite a few good ones around here. Um, real nice staff, uh, very knowledgeable, stuff like that. So, um, you know, we're lucky. They're, they're, I've been to some gun shops that, you know, are kind of like, oh, man, you know, I really don't want to go back in there. You know, I always check them out and see what they got or whatever. But, you know, there's been a few that I didn't go back to just from the employees there. But uh, hopefully it's not like that in your area. And like I said, that'll, that'll at least keep you on your end, you know, being, being the good guy or, or whatever, you know, even if they're kind of, you know, less than um, respectful to you or whatever, as long as you do that and do your part, you know, you remain safe. There's nothing really bad they can say about that. And if, you know, if they're kind of whatever about it, you know, you have the choice not to go back.
you know, you can try another gun shop. But uh, just want to cover that, guys, so you, so you know, just just to give you a, you know, how-to kind of 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 walking in a gun shop, maybe for your first time, maybe for your tenth time, maybe for your hundredth time, you know. And like I said, we see a lot in you know older gentlemen who's just setting their ways. That's probably going to be the first one to. You know, just grab a gun and start pulling trigger on it and waving it at his buddies, unfortunately. And they've probably owned guns, like I said, since they were 12 years old, you know. But they, they're just setting their ways or whatever. But just don't be that guy. So, anyways, guys, hope you have a good experience. Like I said, and um, check it out. If you're new, new to shooting or wanting to get into shooting, man, now's a good time. Uh, prices have never been better for years and years and years. Um, so so now's, a, now's a great time to get into it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.